let you know about it in the city Cause they in the crib this time Whoa What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this really easy uh, kind of repeating transition. No plugins or presets are needed. All right, guys, so I'm going to start fresh here and I'm going to have the video in the timeline here, which is the music video from Bryson Tiller. It's called Lock Clockwork. If you guys want to watch that video, link is in the description. And also, I do want to mention that I do have this horizon kind of vertical line just to kind of help, you know, with the symmetry when it comes to zooming up and scaling the mask. So to do that, it's very simple. Just click on view. From there, you're going to go down and select the show horizon. So without it, it's going to look like this. But what we will want to do is go back to view and we want to make sure we have under overlays show horizon uh, is checked. So from this point, what you want to do is kind of find a shot where you have either a watch, a jewelry piece, whatever the case may be. Just make sure that the item is enclosed completely. So in this case, we're going to use this round face on this watch. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim this clip to right here and I'm going to press command B to kind of split that video. And I'm going to kind of pan through or skim through the video where it actually stops, which is about here and go left using the left and right arrow keys. So press command B there. So now we have this clip here. So once you're at this point, what you want to do is you have another clip here and another one over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to for the next clip, I'm actually going to trim it to about here. Press B and delete that. So our next clip is going to appear like this. So once you're at this point, you're going to have your video down here. And now what we want to do is move the playhead at the beginning of our clip. We're going to go up to the top and we're going to go to uh, edit and we're going to go to add freeze frame. And this will add a still image just down here, which looks like this. Four to five seconds is good. And what you're going to do now is we're going to go into the effects right over here in the effects browser. And we're going to go into all video and audio. And we're just going to type in mask and we're going to drag the draw mask onto our clip here. So just drag it on top of that. And then from this point, what you want to do is have the draw mask selected just by clicking on it. And we're going to zoom in into the watch. So we're going to go into the scale and we're going to scale this up to about 100%. And we're going to kind of move this with our little tool here to pan. And we're going to make a selection. So I'm going to click and drag to make a nice curve. You know that this point has a curve because of these two handles on the sides. So we're going to click on, we're going to make about four or five points. So we're going to click and drag. We're going to go next to invert mask. We're going to have this checked. So click on that and this will go ahead and invert that so that the black area is actually see-through. So it's transparent. Everything else is not transparent. So we're going to go ahead and kind of fix this. So from this point, you can see that we have our freeze frame on the left and our video that was taken from on the right side. What we're going to do is we're going to move the actual uh, freeze frame over onto the right like so. So it's going to play through a little bit. And then it's going to cut off somewhere around here like that. We're going to go into the transform here. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to add a keyframe next to scale all. Just add a keyframe there. Add another one next to position. Okay, so there should only be two points next to position and scale. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the video through. And around maybe the halfway point is where I want this to stop. Scale this all the way up. So under scale all, we're going to move this and just drag it all the way up. And the reason we have these vertical points here is because you can tell that this is not centered. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little transform tool button and this will enable the uh, transform tool here and I have the transparency grid enabled. So this is it with en enabled. If you have this option, do enable it. It makes it a lot easier, but if you don't, you can just still click and drag and move this so that it's centered with this base on the watch. I'm going to re-enable that though for now. I'm going to click on done. From this point, what we're still going to do is go back to scale all and we're going to increase this all the way to the maximum so you can't see anything Okay, on those edges. So now if we go back here and we push play, it's going to animate just like that. Cool thing about this effect is you can right click on the uh, freeze frame right here and we're going to right click. We're going to go to show video animation and this will show you the hidden kind of keyframing settings. And from this point, you can click and drag this end piece here to adjust the speed of this. So if I drag this all the way kind of towards the end, it's going to create a slower kind of smoother uh, zoom in effect. If you drag it towards the right here next to this point here and here, 
it's going to create a very fast uh, kind of effect like that. What we want to do though is kind of move this around. Well, we can move it all the way to the end and then we can change it after when we create a grouped clip. But for the time being, I want it to be roughly, so maybe halfway. I think that looks good. So from this point, what I want to do is I'm actually going to go and re-enable that for now. So I'm going to move this playhead right here on this frame. I'm going to go to the edge of this and drag this inwards, trim it to where it stops. It's going to be like this. From this point, what we're going to do now is actually hold option and just drag down to make a copy. And this is where the cool thing happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into scale again over here. And we're going to adjust the scale, but before you do that, we're going to click show video animation for the bottom clip as well as the top clip. So click show video animation. I'm going to select the bottom clip here. Okay. Make sure it's the bottom one. And we're going to go about halfway. Okay. Or you can even do it like right here. And we're going to go into the transform right here into scale. And we're going to click and drag this piece here down to about here. And you could also pan this up as well if you want. I think that looks pretty good. So from here, what we're going to do is once you're at this point here, right, you've added your second one, we're going to go about here and we're going to just drag this down again. And what we're trying to do here is kind of mimic that same speed here. It's going to look like that. And you're going to notice that this last frame on this bottom clip is actually the same size as the first clip. We don't want it to do that. So what we're going to do is move the playhead at the end here on the, for the bottom clip. We're going to go to scale all and we're going to make this smaller. So I'm actually going to go one frame to the left here and I'm going to drag this all the way kind of around here. Maybe from this point, what we want to do is select both of your clips here and we're going to right click and create a new compounds clip. What we're going to do now is hold option and drag down to make another copy. This is where the cool thing happens is that now that we've made two of those kind of watch masks and we made it a grouped clip, we can just then go about halfway. And now we're going to go into scale and because there's no keyframes, we don't have to worry about adjusting the time. So we're going to drag this down. They should start to kind of go with the same speed here. We're going to hold option and drag down again to make another copy. Go one frame over to the right. We're going to change the scale of this one down again. So here it is. You'll see one copy, two copy, and three. So if we push play, it's going to look like that. And then at this point, we now have like one, two, three, four. And then we're going to do that again, hold option and drag downwards again below that clip. And just same thing before you make that one first, we're going to move the play at the beginning one frame over to the right and then make this one a bit smaller. Now if we skim through, it'll look just like that. You may notice that the inside it's kind of zooming up a little bit. That's just normal. I mean, you can't, you won't really be able to see that when it's going through at this point. And we can do that one more time. Uh, so option drag downwards again, make sure it's below that clip there. And we're going to go to the beginning and it's going to get a, bit, a little bit hard. So this is where we're going to have to kind of zoom in here and we're going to make this even smaller. So there's our kind of our fifth clip, I think. But once you're there, what we're going to do is going to go back here and go to fit. We're going to highlight all of these clips now and we're going to right click and go to new compound clip. And now we have one clip here. Now what you have to do is just drag your clip that you want to transition to. I'm going to drag that below. So now we have this kind of video playing in, in the back and we can hide the ruler here by going to view and go to show horizon to get rid of those lines. Once you're at this point, what you want to do is move the playhead to the beginning clip here. We're going to go back to transform next to the scale all. We're going to add one there as well as in position. Why not? We're going to bring back the horizon line. Okay. Make sure it's like centered for the most part. We're going to go towards the end here and go one frame to the left and we're going to scale this all the way up. Okay. The reason we added a position to the keyframe here is because it's not centered. So we're just going to move this back and try to get this as centered as possible. Click done. And again, just don't move the, the, the actual playhead. Just keep zooming up until you don't see any of the watch edges. So it's completely zoomed up. And now if I go back and push play, it's going to kind of zoom in just like that. I feel like we can do a better job at moving this piece here. Like right here, it's not centered. So we're going to go back to transform and we're going to move this further down and click done. So it should look something like if I go back and push play, something like that. And of course I can change this back to better performance. So it plays back a little bit smoother. So if I go back and push play, I'm going to transition like this. 
and boom, there you go. As you're gonna notice, there's no soft feathering. So I'm gonna double click this grouped clip. I'm gonna select this first clip here and I'm going to also double click on this. I'm gonna select the top clip. I'm gonna go to feather and I'm gonna feather this inwards. And now you're gonna see that there's like this feathering going on there. If I drag it out, it's gonna feather it outwards. I want it to feather it inwards to create more of a depth look. So maybe negative 10. And if I go back, this will apply to all the clips now, as you can see. Very subtle, but it but it's there right here and this one. So this is what I found to be the easiest method, in my opinion, of doing this kind of repeating effect. And again, no plugins or presets are needed, which is kind of the best part about this too. Of course, it's not going to be 100% exact, like something you would do in After Effects. I mean, that's more <laughs> where people actually make those effects. If you guys found this video helpful at all, or you found it easy, please leave a like, and I'll catch you on my next video. Got pics on the way like a vacay Shoot photo with the AK Got friends by my side